Jim, let's talk about Alcoa. They kick off the earnings season reporting after the close on Tuesday. Analysts have actually been trending down their estimates, right. and the stock is down over the last six months. So Nice change. One know. of the things that has really hurt Alcoa is its run into earnings. Now, I don't regard today's run as a run into earnings. Um, Alcoa's got a couple of uh, very big uh, tailwinds, which is that there's a big natural gas turbine business. There's a Boeing business, a Airbus business on fasteners. Um, they have a Apple business, by the way. They do the iPad. The iPad is an Alcoa skin. Uh, against that, the commodity that is aluminum is off. Yeah, disastrous. Worry about global recession, yeah. and, demand and, and down. Yes, no yield here. Uh, beginning to, People beginning to question, question Klaus Kleinfeld. I think he's very, very good. Uh, we own a fraction alerts. It's been a disaster. I mean, it's been a horrible stock. Uh, have you bought on the way down? We just bought some. No, we didn't buy it all the way down. Um, we, we held back because we had a very low basis. We are, aren't traders, so when it ran, we didn't do anything. And you could argue, well, Jim, you should have found some way to trade it, but we're not traders. But when it got down to below 10, yeah. Uh, but I will tell you this, that when this stock reported last time, it was around 16, 17, and it just got crushed. Uh, now it's reporting, and everyone has cut numbers. People feel that it is a company that will never get it right. On a valuation basis, it's incredibly cheap. Uh, it's not like it's losing money. It, it, the stock reflects that it's losing money. It's one of those companies, like it trades like AK Steel, which is just trades as if it's just a complete and utter commodity and it's disastrous. Uh, it, look, I don't think this stock can go to 15. I think it could go to 12, though. All right, really so what, what, where do you think it could go down to, to, you'd buy it here? Oh, man, which way you know, the chart is horrible. The, the chart says 7, know, 8. Chart. The chart says 7, right. 8. And, and, you know, you really, it's like I just finished a piece for Real Money about oil. And the charts there indicate that oil's going to 60 and the oil stocks are all breaking down. And at a certain point, you just have to quibble with the charts. I'm quibbling with the charts in Alcoa. So when Alcoa analysts are not liking it, the world is not liking it, it's time to like it, right? Uh, it just, look, you could say, Seven, well, Jim, eight. you know, you didn't get off the okay. horse at 16. Who, why do you have any validity at 10? And the answer is, is that I am a long-term believer in the Alcoa story. Okay. And now you've got the short term that could go right too.